Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install vMenu, which is the next step in the creating a 5M server series that I am making. So what you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to the latest build for vMenu. Make sure it is the latest build at the time of watching the video. Scroll on down to the bottom where it says assets and install the top one right here. Just click that to install it and then it will download. Open it on up. And you should be greeted with a couple of files and a folder. So to install this, what you guys are going to want to do, minimize to a desktop, and we're going to find our 5 and server directory that we made in the previous video. We're going to open that on up, and we're going to open the TX data folder, TFX default, and then the resources folder. Inside of here, we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this folder brackets menus, and then a closing brackets. And these folders are basically categories, so anything we put inside of here will be menu mods or something along the lines of a menu. So then from here, what you guys are going to do, we're going to right click again, new folder. I'm going to call this folder V and then a capital M menu. Press enter, open this folder on up, grab all of these files and the folder and drag and drop them all into here like so. From here, what you guys are going to want to do, we're going to go into the config folder and we're going to grab this permissions.cfg and we're just going to copy and then we're going to delete it. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1. We're going to go back to our resources folder, back to our CFX default folder, and we're going to go into our config folder on our download again, and we're going to grab the file we just deleted and put it into here. That's how our vMenu permissions will work. So every time you want to edit permissions, you'll edit them from here, and they only work from being inside of this folder directory. They have to be next to your server.cfg. If we go back to our resources folder, this is what we need to ensure. So we can close our download now. We no longer need that. We're going to copy this name right here. Control C. Go back to our CFX default folder. Open our server.cfg up. And then we're going to scroll on down until we find our resources list. So under here, we're going to do a new little title. We're going to do two hashtags, which means it won't read it as a line of code. And then you can put a title. So you can sort of organize your 5M server a lot better. From here, we're going to put menus. And then anything we put under here is going to be our menus or many related folders. And we only have one for now, which is going to be our main category for menus. So ensure and then just paste in the name we copy and pasted. So you no longer need to ensure any other mods. Every single time you place a mod into this menus folder, it is automatically insured because we have actually insured the whole category on a whole. So it makes life a lot easier. And doing this little organizing also makes your life easier when it comes to trying to find files, when it comes to trying to add new ones. Just make sure you keep everything nice and organized like that. From here, we can go to the top of our server.cfg and we're going to press enter, make a new line. And at the top here, we're going to simply type exec like this and then permissions.cfg. So this is basically allowing your 5M server to read this permissions.cfg file we just put in here. From here, we can then go file save and we can close our server.cfg now if we open up this permissions.cfg this is where we can actually sort of configure all of our admin permissions so if you read through here it's pretty self-explanatory it literally shows you how to do everything just to the top here with these little titles it literally explains everything step by step but you can add yourself as an admin through your server.cfg which will automatically be done by using your tx admin you don't need to worry about that but here you can add other people to your admin group if you wanted to. So all you need to do was grab their Steam identifier or their 5M and then just press new line. Type the same thing in and then change the identifier in the middle to match your friend's identifier. And down here is going to be getting into your, actually, your actual menu options. So here you can allow menu options, you can disable menu options. But usually the base options that are already enabled and disabled for admins and normal players is actually pretty good. Unless you wanted to get rid of the vehicle options menu or the spawner menu. If you guys had a different menu, you can do so literally just by getting rid of allow and then just putting it to false. So you just go like this and then call it false. And then that would be 
deleting the vehicle spawner section from the menu. So it's pretty self-explanatory and not very difficult whatsoever. If you guys have made any changes, make sure you file, save, and then close that. From here, we are pretty much done. All we need to do now is start up our 5M server by going back to the first folder and double-clicking our default.bat to start it on up. So now we've loaded into our 5M server, all you guys need to do is press the menu key, which is going to be M, and you guys should be able to see just like that, it's going to pop up with your V menu. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. And through here, you can manage people. You guys can see I can actually ban myself and kick myself, but obviously you can do that for other players as well. You can view the ban players list to unban people if you want. Player-related options, you can customize your character appearance. World-related options, you can change your time and everything through here. If you want to disable and enable things for people, it's all customizable through that permissions.cfg file. So literally, you can have whatever you guys want. Obviously, you can also teleport through here. It's pretty simple and pretty neat little menu to have installed. It's usually a necessity unless you guys are doing a Cubicore server. Any other server will have a V menu based server. So a pretty neat, essential little part to your 5M server. So make sure you guys do subscribe, turn on that notification bell to check out the next video in this series. Check out hdnetwork.one down in the description below and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.